Hey, welcome back to Flying S Models. I'm Chad and I appreciate you tuning into the channel once again. It's time for another episode in the Quick Tips Pro Results series that I started. And today's Quick Tip Pro Result is going to be how to use foil tape like this here to create external details like wing fillets or these gun port covers on this 132nd scratch built IA-58 Pukara that I'm working on. Now as modelers, a lot of times we're faced with some unique challenges, especially those of us who do some scratch building, about how to accomplish some of these features. And I found that this aluminum sheet provides some unique solutions to some of the more complex problems that we have. I'll go over briefly some of the tools and equipment I use to achieve these results. You'll find the links to those in the video description below. First off is this aluminum adhesive foil. I ordered mine from Flight Metal Products, but you can also use HVAC tape available at any home supply store. So the stuff from Flight Metal comes on a 12 inch by roughly, I think I got six feet in length. So you can just cut off what you need to apply to a specific panel. You'll also need a regular hobby knife. To create some of the details, I use a straight needle chucked up in a pin vise and a riveting tool. Now I'm using the Pukara here to show the final results. And let me zoom in on those so you can see the effects that can be achieved. But in order to demo real quickly how to achieve these effects, I'll use this 132nd Spitfire. Now the first thing you'll need to do is to either create a template to cover the area that, that you want to recreate the raised metal effect on, or you just want to lay the tape over the entire area, burnish it down, and then cut it with a hobby knife. Because this is a quick tip, I've already created the template, and I've cut with a pair of scissors the tape to that outline. So the only thing to do now is to just remove the tape from its backing, which is often sometimes harder than it should be, because this stuff is pretty sticky. And it's good to use a knife to do this sometimes. You can peel it back like that. Remove it from its backing. And then lay it down on the raised area you want to create. Now in this case, I'm going to lay it down over the wing fillet because on some models that would either have to be recreated or it would have been lost due to sanding and that sort of thing. So you just burnish it here, like I'll just burnish it with my finger. You can also use any wood or soft material to just burnish it down onto the surface. Now you want to be careful, you don't want to use any sharp cornered or edged object, kind of like this is actually, because you'll put little scratches or grooves into the base material. You want to avoid that. So once you have it burnished down, you can see here this metal actually stretches a little bit over the compound curves of this wing fillet area. So once you have it down, you can just take your hobby knife and easily cut off the excess like so. So after you've got the aluminum down, you can come back in and add various effects. So I'll take a piece of fine sandpaper, 1000 grit here, and you can just come back in and sand it. You can see here kind of the overall effect that it's creating. What you can also do is you can scribe panel lines into the foil directly, like so, just following over existing panel line detail or creating your own. And then I like to use a regular pin chucked up in a pin vise to come back in and punch in the rivet detail in accordance with the references, like so. You can also use any riveting tool 
to create rivets in the aluminum skin. So if I can zoom in there so you can see that. Kind of hard to see, but maybe you can see that right there. And when you've got the desired uh, skin effects that you want, you can just come back in and airbrush or spray a coat of primer over the detail and it'll look something like this. So there you go. There's a quick and easy tip of how to create raised panel detail on any type of model, especially useful for scratch build applications like this Pukara here. So that'll about do it for this episode of Quick Tips Pro Results, where we took a look at using aluminum tape to create raised panel surface detail on your model projects. I appreciate you tuning into the channel. Have a good one.